today on Running to Him. It's time we started honoring those in church who never see any honor. Today's reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 19 through 31, and we'll concentrate on verses 22 through 26. 1 Corinthians 12, 22 through 26 says, On the contrary, it is much truer that the members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary, and those members of the body which we deem less honorable on those we bestow more abundant honor, and our less presentable members become much more presentable, whereas our more presentable members have no need of it. But God has so composed the body, giving more abundant honor to that member which is lacked, so that there may be no division in the body, but that all members may care for one another. And if one member suffers, all suffer with it. If one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Our reading today has two parts, the one I've chosen as a devotion and the other concerning spiritual gifts and positions inside the church. As spiritual gifts will be seen in chapters 13 through 14, I'd like to address who we are in church and where we fail to recognize the right people in the church. As we follow Paul's logic through our passage, we see that he distinguishes between those parts of the body which are more presentable and those without honor. The church fathers focused predominantly on the genitals while commenting on this passage. Ambrose Aster, who wrote between 366 and 384 AD, added a short comment about the feet needing to be covered, but I'd like to look at it another way. I think parts of our bodies are unseen and are treated very badly. It seems that we not only disregard them, but we also treat them with complete disrespect. For example, the stomach and the bowels are not the most pleasant things to look at, yet without them we could not exist. We rarely think about what we're doing to them while we're eating. Then we quickly fill our stomach with antacids and the bowel with medicine to unclog the mess created by the food we eat. Westerners seem to believe that fast food restaurants, barbecue, and pizza are the perfect diet. But through making these types of food our mainstay, the body suffers, particularly three parts of our bodies that we need to stay alive, the heart, the stomach, and the bowels. These parts of our bodies are essential to us, yet we tend to even deny their existence until we need medications to try and fix what we've broken. And in the church, we have the same kind of problem. We honor those who stand before us each Sunday and praise the church staff, but we tend to disregard those workers who volunteer or who are poorly paid, working day in and day out to keep the gears of the church running correctly. When was the last time the cleaning staff was gathered in front of the church being praised and honored with a large bonus? The pastor and staff are regularly praised and at times receive those bonuses. But their glory comes every week. Those who do the grunt work serve an unseen and unappreciated service. It's time we started honoring those in the church who never see any honor. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.